Welcome back. Uh, we will continue now with... Um, well, I thought I would show you the exact chords I play with the pad sound. Uh, here we are with the pad sound. You can see which notes I press down. It's like an E minor 7 uh, at first, and then it's like, uh, yeah... Uh, a B minor 7 with the 4 or the add 11 or how you would call it. And then, uh, yeah, it's some kind of uh, E minor at the end or, yeah, E sus maybe. Yeah. Well, you see here what notes uh, I use here thought you might like to know that and uh, also the stabs we were gonna check that out uh, maybe we we will play the pad first uh, in solo mode yeah uh, the stabs uh, we will check them out too it's a E minor to uh, E minor add nine, uh, perhaps, and then I move on to a. Yeah, it's kind of it's like a B minor seven with an eleven in it, and then it's a A chord. A add nine. It sounds like this. Yeah, you get the picture. Now we move on. Uh, I would like to add some bells now. I love bells uh, in my songs, and uh, for that I use my TX eight zero two. Uh, I don't have a plugin that uh, does bells as good as my DX7 uh, Mark II or my TX. Uh, so I mainly use uh, these two for bell sounds because that way I always get a good result, I think. So here we have a sound that's called Beauty Bell. Uh, I made this one myself, uh, kind of. Uh, when it comes to FM synthesis, I don't uh, program sounds from scratch. I edit sounds and to my liking. And then I uh, stack different sounds on top of each other on the TX and the DX7 Mark II. Because you can do that on those two synthesizers. And I really like that. And uh, that way you can get a quite thick uh, bell sound or sound any sound for that matter and this one uh, goes through a TC electronic M350 FX unit so that there's a little bit of reverb and delay on this sound as you can hear so now we'll try and improvise some uh, bell stuff here we go. I think I will uh, make another one. Oh, we will listen to that. I was not happy with uh, the thing at the end because it didn't really, how should I put it, um, it didn't really resonate well th with the chord, I think. So I will try and uh, make something new here, but I will, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, that's 
bit better, I think. So we will keep that. Uh, and we will keep the other stuff too. I will merge these two. quite nice I think um, now we have some kind of intro and uh, maybe uh, we can uh, move on to some kind of verse stuff and I think we will just copy the drums oh yeah the drums we need a crash after the fill so we we will record that Yeah, quantize that one. Uh, and I think it's a bit too loud, so we will edit that. Yeah. I think I usually... Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. And uh, as you can see now, we with the TX, it's just MIDI. So I will, I will record this. Uh, not sure if that's necessary for you to see, but ah uh, well. Yeah, I do that. So you can see how, how I work. So we solo that track and then record it. So now I'm going to mute the MIDI track. And now it's a bit not so loud anymore. I will maybe crank up the volume a bit. And I will uh, pan this sound to the right. Because panning is quite important, I think, to get a wide uh, sense of the whole sound of the song. And maybe we'll do the same with the uh, stab. Maybe. Uh, we'll try something out here. Uh, oh, sorry. To the left. Something like that, a bit. Oh, we should. Ah. I think the fill is still a bit loud, so I will lower the volume on that one yet again. Oh. Here we are, something, yeah. So now we have the, a verse or something like that, and we take uh, the bass again. And make something up and I will test if uh, we just play eighth notes I think so just maybe octave bass stuff we'll try As 
usual, I just improvise. We keep that, I think, and uh, yeah, I will move this track so that the two bass tracks are on top of the, each other. And we copy this here. And maybe we'll add something new, another kind of sound. Here I have my uh, PG-8X and this is a sound I've made myself, I think, that's called Synth Line 2. We'll try something. Didn't like the last note. I think we'll use the same. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I think we go for a F sharp. This one is in the middle, and I think I want this panned out to, yeah. Let's see where we here we go. Here we have this one. Try this on the right side of in the mix. I ah, oh, I click at the wrong spot. Should have this over here. Yeah. Let's try this. Uh, and now I think we will copy these four bars. And then we will make some kind of pre-chorus. Let's try that. Use the same drums again. Uh, and I think I will go for <laughs> standard uh, chord product progression, but we use that here. Okay, I think. So it's C D G E C D E that I play in octaves. It's uh, not very advanced, uh, but it suits the song, I think, so we, we will go for that. And here we will add another ar arpeggio, and I think we will use the Tell You Know Alex. Uh, I have a Juno 60. Uh, again, I probably should use that one, but I've bought some uh, sounds, some patches from Luftrum uh, that I like really much. and. Uh, so therefore I use this plugin instead right now. And it's a sound called Arp Circular City. We will try that one. I hope it will sound okay in this 
song. I think so. Uh, the really nice uh, patches in this uh, left room uh, 11 that I bought some time ago. So we will just uh, try, yeah, something. Again, I quantize this. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, I think I will uh, lower the volume on this one. Something like that. Listen from the beginning now and see how we how it sounds. quite nice if we copy this now and then we add some stabs over here I think that would uh, fit perhaps I don't know usually when I sit and compose I sit several hours at a time and just tweak and record again and try different things until I'm uh, satisfied. Well, okay, uh, I think uh, that's maybe about it. We could. We'll try and add yet another arpeggio uh, here. And here I have a sound I've made for the Odyssey. Uh, it's called Lucas Pulse Seek Sequencer <laughs> or Seek 8. And this sound you can download from one of my other videos if you like it. So here we go. that again it's just improv improvisation you see here what I've done um, we listen to it <laughs> can solo this stuff It's quite good, actually. Uh, well, so I think that's about it. Uh, I could <laughs> show you uh, more, uh, I guess, but this is how I usually start out. And eventually I record the vocals and add more stuff, maybe. I usually have a lot of tracks. Uh, with different sounds, uh, sometimes it gets a bit overproduced, some might think, but I like it. So, well, we listen from the beginning and to the end now. <laughs>
don't know. We here is the arpeggio. I just played some chords and then made uh, let the arpeggio do its stuff. So ah, yeah, you can see here what I played. Well, that's about it, I think. Thank you for watching and I hope you found some of this interesting and maybe it had have helped you uh, with your own song songwriting. Maybe. I don't know. Thank you anyway. Bye.